Look was the process of taking those prisoners for the killing. How were they done? Were they transported? On ces Because this is about the location surrounding S21 Je and not about the transporting of the prisoners to Jing A. So it means they were taken from the from the Tulslein prison to the killing locations surrounding the Tulslein. De Tulsling. The accused, Comment Mr. Mr. President, Réponse. I do not know clearly, but I can je ne sais pas très bien. conclude that Mais je crois comprendre. because this is a criminal act that had been done by us, so I can make a presumption, although it may Il not be 100%. Usually for such killing, the prisoners were blindfolded, and at one time, probably there were only three détenus. prisoners, Il and parfois, one of these trois, three prisoners were killed, smashed, une, une les then they would come tués. for more prisoners and taking two les or three at a time, up to 28 prisoners par per day. So that was the process in order to avoid them from being escaped and from breaking secrecy. pour empêcher les évasions et pour empêcher aussi que le secret ne soit divulgué. The president regarding Question. the killing of the four westerners. Pour ce qui est des quatre occidentaux. Judge Tumoni and Judge Carright already Tumoni questioned you on this uh, matter. I would like a clarification on this matter because there are contradictory views. Car des choses contradictoires so ont I have a following questions. Voici donc ma question. You said you did not believe that the Westerners were burned to ashes alive. Vous dites que vous ne croyez pas que so, les ont été in, brûlés in vifs. that case, did you order your subordinate to kill the Westerners? And what was exactly your order? Exécuter ces personnes. Quels ont été the les accuse, ordres que vous Mr. avez donnés? Réponse. I still remember the words that Uncle Noon told me. He said, par for the long nose. People, il a dit pour les gens au long nez, had to be smashed and they had to be photographed. Et il faut euh, en faire you la photo. You have to remember, we do not spare or we do not have to have their bones in exchange. Mais nous ne devons pas garder for a bulldozer. So that's what he told me. So when I returned home and when Comrade Ho came to meet me, Donc quand je suis rentré, que rencontré he told me. Oh, I do, I do not call them the long nose group, but I call them the French. Je lui ai dit, uh, that the, the Anka decided to Anka remove them and that they had to be burnt to ash. Et les Their corpses had to be burnt to ash. 
failure. And nothing would remain. Faire disparaître pour que And I emphasized rien on this point. J'ai bien insisté sur ce point. It was the order from the upper echelon, and I ordered my subordinates to remove and smash them by burning them to ash. Et de les faire disparaître en les réduisant en cendres. The president, did you receive a report, or did you supervise the operation of that killing? Cette opération. The accused. No, I did not réponse. supervise non, that killing. Camrat Ho led that operation Hoff by himself. For such special circumstances, Camrat Ho would be there on the spot to inspect. Place pour vérifier. Look, man, the president, question. you have already acknowledged the killing of the prisoners by blood drawing until the, the bodies were drained and they died. I do not want to emphasize on that, but I would like to know the number of prisoners who died in such a way. And in the agreed fact, Dans les faits, there is also one fact mentioned qui ne sont pas in paragraph 259, paragraph 259. It states at least 1,000 people who were called in this way, that is by blood drawing, and there were 20 or 30 of them Et que whose blood were drawn each day. À 30 personnes so the figure was that at least 1,000 people died in this way. And yesterday and this morning, matin, you still said there was only about 100 prisoners who died in that way. Are you manière. still maintaining your position, or can you elaborate on this matter? Ce que vous avez the accused, dit, Mr. President. Réponse. Merci, Monsieur le Président. I would like to provide my observation. The testimony mentioned in the agreed fact, Dans I rejected it because it was a simple calculation that uh, 20 or 30 people were, whose blood was drawn each day died, and they calculate it per year, per, per month, and per year. As for me, the Mais number that concerne, I said, there might be a little bit more or less than 100, and I'm sure there is still a surviving document de cette manière, et je as pense evidence on, peut en la on this matter. This is uh, my testimony, Your Honor. I do not recognize the 1,000 figure or the regular 20 to 30 people per day. Par and I only maintain that they were sent to Hospital 98. The President, in the same paragraph in point C, Même paragraphe. One day at S21, uh, there were blood il y avait of approximately 30 to 40, 30, 40 bags 30, 40 at S21. S21. Can you uh, elaborate donné. further on this matter? Que vous nous en dire plus? The accused, Mr. President, Réponse. the blood which was drawn. Le sang qui était prélevé. would be delivered and there, there was no no time at all that there will there would be many many bags like 30 to 40 bags left at S21. S21. And I knew before the blood drawing they just checked the blood Avant group A, B, O or A, B. But they did not check for any other signs. So I said again the blood was not left Mais at fois, S21 up to 30 or 40 bags. Il a jamais eu 30 à 40 sacs de sang à also S21. in the same paragraph, le président, au même paragraphe, 
in G, there was a place for preserving blood called Strasrong to the east of Tours Line Prison. Is the statement correct? Qui servait à conserver le sang prélevé. Est-ce que cela est exact? Mr. President, the word Strasrong was not used to pinpoint any particular location. Il n'y avait aucun endroit qu'on appelait Strasrong. Or attached to which unit or organization of Pol Pot. Ou qui aurait correspondu à une unité organisationnelle de Pol Pot. So the name was already apparent that it was not a name of a location. Ce n'est pas le nom d'un lieu. And as for blood preservation, de la conservation du sang, it was even untrue because nobody could do it. Parce que personne without me asking for approval from the upper echelon. Only with the approval from the upper echelon it could be done because it requires a technical knowledge and the truth. So I reject that there is no blood preservation at S21. Mr. President, thank you. Le président. Merci. Now let me move on to the fact regarding Chiang Kai. However, before we go into that fact, I have a question. Avant de se faire, j'ai une question. When the prisoners were led from the detention room to the killing sites surrounding S21. Jusqu'au lieu d'exécution près de S21. What words or pretext were used by those who took them? Qu'est-ce qu'on disait aux prisonniers qu'on emmenait? So that the prisoners were not aware that they would be taken out and killed. Utilisait-on pour empêcher que les prisonniers ne comprennent qu'on les emmenait pour être tués? Excuse me, Mr. President. During the Khmer Rouge regime. Sous le régime Khmer Rouge. The taking away and killed or the arrest. Was under a pretext, or they were lied. Commonly, they were told they would move to a new house. On leur disait que on les emmenait dans une nouvelle maison. But this is just for the comfort of emotion, because in fact, their their arms were tied, they were blindfolded, so there was no possibility for them to escape. The only thing was that they were told this so that they would not would not shout or make any noise. So there had to be a form of light or pretext or moving to a new location. A dire pour justifier le fait qu'on les emmenait quelque part. The president. The president. Regarding the selection of the Chiang Mai as a killing site, concerning Chiang Mai, Judge Cartwright already questioned you regarding some matters on the selection of the Chiang Mai as a killing site and who made such a decision. Elle a demandé notamment qui avait pris cette décision. The question is, after. Je voudrais maintenant savoir ceci. Une fois que la décision a été prise, et avant 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 que la décision a été Frankly speaking, these tasks were assigned to other people to do. Ces tâches ce sont d'autres qui sont chargées. After the agreement to select Chiang Mai, une fois la sélection faite, I had to report to my superior, and the superior agreed. J'ai rendu compte à mon supérieur, mon supérieur qui a accepté ce choix, et did his work based on the principle of secrecy in order to prepare the smash not to be revealed. Pour faire en sorte que so, euh, the metal les zinc détails des exécutions ne soient pas connus. To surround the location, and for the people who were there to look after the graves, 
des gens qui étaient stationnés sur place pour surveiller le lieu et pour surveiller So that was the operation for people stationed there de in Quatre order to dig the pit to protect and to cover the pits after de les the killing was done. Après les This is my response, Your Honor. Voilà ce que je peux vous dire Question. The president, uh, were there any fence uh, installed or there were any uh, guarding house? And that there is any sign to uh, prove that uh, the location was under control by S21, so that the other units uh, were well informed that uh, they should not intrude uh, the location. The accused. The location belonged to perhaps uh, division. 502. When we decided to choose the location, actually uh, we made the request uh, to the division to relieve uh, that location to us and then we built the fence uh, and then we built a hut uh, covered with corrugated uh, metal. Thank you, said the president. Do other judges of the bench uh, wish to put further questions to the accused concerning Chung Ak? Judge Yasakon, you take the floor. Judge Yasakon, je vous en prie. Judge Yasakon, thank you, Mr. Merci, President. Do you still remember that uh, the detainees who were taken to Chung Aik uh, to be executed, how many were there? The accused. Your Honor, I don't remember the exact figures, but among the 12,380 detainees or something, including more than 160 or something, uh, they were all smashed at Chung Aik. And then some of them were smashed at Takmau. And uh, very few people were smashed in Phnom Penh in particular. Question. Judge Yasa Khan. Was there any indication or classification of detainees who would uh, be smashed uh, in Chiang Ai or at S21 in Phnom Penh? De devant être exécuté à Phnom, the accused, Phnom Penh your or Chiang Ai? Réponse. If we talk about classification, I think uh, detainees was classified in. Uh, time sequence. For example, at the, at the beginning, S21 and the former au début, police office of Division 703, I mean the cadres from the division were smashed at the Dakmao prison. And later on, they were killed uh, and, and buried uh, surrounding the Ponyayat High School autour, uh, and uh, Ponyayat. last uh, they were smashed at Chiang Ai. And ces ont and uh, à the people who were the children below five years of age uh, and people who ans, died of uh, blood drawing and died of leur sang, disease were maladie, buried in Phnom Penh. I think this is how the corpse of the detainees were classified and buried, voilà so far as I remember. Judge Yasa Khan, Question. you chose Chiang Ai as the burial site Vous avez that is far from Phnom Penh. Site site Did you de Phnom Penh? advise your subordinates on how to take à, the detainees to be smashed at Chiang Ai? The accused. Your Honor, I did not instruct uh, non, subordinates on how to transport detainees because I believe that it was 
a part of the work they had uh, done before the crimes they had already been used to committing by saying so i did not really put uh, or point my finger to them but en disant cela je ne veux pas blâmer mes subordonnés i did not really instruct them to uh, do mais ce fait que je to transfer the pennies they did their job the based on their knowledge of uh, the work ce travail sur la base de ce qu'ils faisaient déjà avant Judge Yasakon, question when the pennies were determined uh, to be taken to Chiang Ai, did you tell people at Chiang Ai to be ready and prepared? Le personnel stationné à Chiang Ai pour qu'ils se préparent. Your Honor, réponse. The people who stationed at Chiang Ai. Le personnel stationné à Chiang Ai. Could be informed, perhaps. Because they were in the same special unit. So those people would be ready to open the gate door to allow the, the people uh, from Phnom Penh to get in. And they were also in charge of digging up uh, the graves and also cover them. And uh, I think probably they would not be informed in advance. Il savait qu'il fallait creuser des fosses et les refermer ensuite à Chiang Judge Yasakon. Question. What, was there any special force that transported the detainees to Chiang Ai by trucks? Par camion. And that before any detainees were uploaded on the trucks, they would be told that they would be Et moving to the new home was that a practice le monde dans ces camions est-ce qu'on leur disait qu'ils allaient euh, qu déménager pour un nouvel endroit your honor Réponse. the misleading pretext was le a pretext, pretext across the country était le même and it did exist in at s21 on faisait la même chose à s21 Question. Were there any guards who would guard the detainees while they were being transferred on their trucks? Des prisonniers pendant leur transport en camion. There were four people, Réponse. said uh, the accused, uh, one driver, uh, two guards uh, uh, guarding the detainees, and one another guard guarding at the back of the truck. Qui se trouvait à l'arrière du camion. Judge Yasakon. Question. Were the detainees uh, who were being transferred on the trucks uh, blindfolded, uh, handcuffed? Dans le camion, avaient les mains menottées et les yeux bandés. The accused. Your Réponse. Honor. Detainees had to be tied. Uh, their hands had to be Il tied to their back and they had to be blindfolded. But I'm not dos, quite sure if they were also shackles to their legs. Sure qu'ils étaient euh, entravés. Judge Yasakon. Question. Was there a case when the detainees were sent to Chiang Ai and immediately upon arriving the location they were put into a small hut? et placé à leur arrivée dans une petite cabane. It is true that uh, the detainees had to be kept in that uh, hut uh, after they were unloaded from the trucks and they still remained blindfolded and they were tied to uh, their back. Judge Yasakon when exactly were the detainees Question. sent to Chiang Ai during the Quand daytime or at night? De jour ou de nuit? The accused. So, so, I can Google. conclude that most Réponse. of the detainees uh, were sent ce que je crois at savoir, night. Um, la plupart des détenus étaient envoyés de nuit. Judge Yasakon, Question. when the detainees were put in their wooden house or hut, uh, were there any generator? Turned on. Un, um, 
they accused uh, your honor électrique uh, allumé I went to Jungak once I did not réponse, see je ne me suis any generator. I saw torches, the light from the torches in their location. So in conclusion, I don't euh, believe there was any generator en conclusion, at Chengek. Y avait, y avait un, un électrique à Chengek. Judge Yasakon. When detainees Question. were removed uh, from uh, the wooden hut, uh, were they told that they would be moving to a new home? De la cabane en bois. On leur disait they accused. On allait, I believe uh, that uh, they did use such maison? a lie, lie or pretext. Réponse. Je pense que It could not be avoided. Uh, il était inévitable qu'un tel prétexte soit utilisé. Judge Yasakon, Question. was there anyone to record or register Penny's name when they were being sent to the pit? Noter le nom de chaque the accused, I believe individu there were people who recorded pour y être exécuté, hein, the people's names, although I did not fully réponse. grasp. Uh, the process, but je I believe there was someone who recorded that. I don't know the process, but I think that a person had uh, to verify their names on a list. Were the prisoners liste. made to kneel down Question. while they were still handcuffed, while they were still Lorsque being blindfolded, and that they were beaten? Uh, 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 with a de la blow to the back of the neck, leur un and then un uh, that person uh, fell into the pit before niveau, um, uh, their handcuffs mm, were removed. Mm, Was there a case? Leur asséné un coup they accused. Avec, uh, it is true, uh, Your Honor. Bah sur le coup and et uh, leur according to fosse, the testimony of Mr. Afoui, uh, in the Tipan movie, uh, he did Je mention vrai. about uh, this. When Dans the prisoner de was uh, falling into the pit, and then he, uh, after that, uh, he would uh, remove the prisoner from the prison. And then he would remove the prisoner from the prison. Les liens ou les chaînes, les entraves des euh, aux prisonniers. Question. Do you still remember that when you chose Chung Ak as the place for execution, vous avez how many detainees were sent uh, to the location de location and, and each time how many people were sent? pour y être exécuté. Hein. C'est des de combien de prisonniers Une Réponse, je ne peux pas me souvenir de cela. Judge Yasakon, you have not answered to my question yet. Uh, when the prisoners were beaten, what kind of tool were used to beat them? The accused, Your Honor, I'm not sure. Je ne suis pas sûr. Be but at Amleang, they used Mais the bamboo stick. On utilisait to un bâton en bambou beat, uh, the pour asséner un coup aux prisonniers. À S21, uh, j'ai déjà dit que Nad, au début, Nad so était uh, tellement fier de tuer les prisonniers en leur tranchant la gorge. Et plus tard, un testimony de Hoi, le uh, prisonnier a été battu avec un axe. Un coup était Chat porté Yasakon, avec un essieu. Were all torturing devices uh, brought from S21 or were there improvised uh, equipment ready in place Les instruments étaient-ils amenés de S21 ou y avait-il déjà des instruments sur place à Chungak I think Réponse. I can't 
to my conclusion again that uh, those uh, tools would have been maintained at Chiang Ai ready for use. Étaient, uh, uh, à prêt à être Question. Do you remember that uh, Son Sen and Nguyen Chi ordered you to implement the execution in a large scale, for example, on mass? So how often uh, did that happen? Dear your honor, I told the court earlier that Monsieur there would juge, be in three occasions, je, je and I talked to judge, uh, a co-investigating judges, and Ça now regarding document D159, uh, then there were four occasions uh, when people were executed en masse. Question. Do you remember when was the first time vous people was masked en masse? And then the following personnes ont été exécutées en masse et quelles ont été euh, les dates suivantes de ces accused. exécutions en masse la First, réponse it took place on the early of 1977 when Khoi Thuon was arrested he implicated other people and the, north, uh, the former north zones Cadres and cadres in Phnom Penh and, and the central area a zone were arrested and put a uh, uh, sent to S21. So with the influx of too many people like this, we had to make sure that the premises were not uh, were not too uh, overcrowded. D'éviter la surpopulation. And uh, this event happened after the confession of Khoi Thun. I think it was on the 31st of December. Or, sorry, maybe on the 1st. Pardonnez-moi, peut-être le 1er. Or 31st. Ou le 31. Of December 1976. So, by the end of 1976, early 1977 was the time when uh, people were arrested en masse and sent to, uh, taken away en masse. And second occasion, it was uh, regarding the people from Division 920. There were hundreds of them who were sent in, and they remained for 10 days. I would like to also re uh, tell the court that Division 920 were the former cadres of a North old North Zone because they had uh, committed other activities that they were arrested en masse and that uh, S21 was ordered to take, an, to take them away immediately. I think there, there have been five, five times Je pense que il uh, de, il so far as I recall. On the third occasion, it was in 1977, in April, before the West Zone cadres were arrested, uh, uh, more, a lot of people were taken away en masse. I think uh, it's so confusing again for me. I think it, uh, the first time was in early 1977, number two, when the cadres from Division 9, 20, uh, the 100 of them 
and he then in April 1978, uh, before Chuchet Eliasi was arrested, and in the fourth, when the northwest cadres were arrested and left, uh, there were more cadres and, in, and taken away. So altogether, there were five occasions in which detainees were sent away on occasions. Yes, a con. Can you recall for the first time Question. how many prisoners and what type of prisoners uh, for the were they? The were they former Londoners officers? Uh, the accused of the regime of Londoners. Réponse. In January 1977, there were only very few Lonnol government officers. So if they were included in the armed mass killings, there would be only a few of them. That was the first time. très réduit de ces personnes. Ça, c'était pour ce qui était de la première fois où a lieu. Uh, Can you recall the total number massive. of those Question. for the first time on mass killing? Vous vous du the accused, I cannot recall the number. However, I can estimate there would be at least 100. Je ne peux que vous fournir une estimation, um, je dirais une centaine de personnes. Judge Yasakon, what about the second Quand time il de la deuxième fois the accused for the second time? Réponse. I think Parce que de there were 100 fois. people exactly as stated in one of the documents. De 100 personnes comme les documents l'attestent. Judge Yasakon and the third Question. time Qu est de la troisième, uh, which was occasion. on it, which was in December seventy eight. How many the accused, I think they won the lead on the, in December seventy eight, it was the fifth time. Non, en and the third la round fois. was probably in February 77, and there were roughly 100 of them. À peu près d'une euh, centaine de personnes. And Judge Yasakon, and the third Question. time? Et la fois suivante? The accused. The first time was in February 77, the second time was in November 77, and, it, and the third time, it was roughly in February. I think I am confused now. I am not sure which is the second or the third time. I think there, there were 140 or 150 of them in either the second or the third time. Soit au cours de la deuxième ou de la troisième fois où de tels événements se sont produits. In January or February 78, it was the third time. occasion. And the fourth time, it was in April 78. And finally, the fifth time, it was in December 78. En masse ont eu lieu en décembre 78. So I might get mixed up with the dates. Je me suis mélangé dans les dates. However, the armed mass was done in these five occasions. Lieu, um, there could be another occasion which I cannot recall. Une autre um, 
occasion ou ces événements ont eu lieu, mais je ne peux pas euh, m'en rappeler. Judge, yes, a count. Question. The one in March. Pour ce qui est de was it those people who were brought from the east zone, the accused? De la zone est. The people Réponse who were brought from the east were totaling in about 300 plus. But I'm not sure on the month. It could be in October or November 78. De la date, peut-être en octobre ou novembre 78. Judge Yasakon, what about the second or the third day of January 1979? How many prisoners were smashed? Combien de prisonniers ont été écrasés? On these days, all the remaining prisoners were ordered to be smashed. There were four remaining for interrogation, and there were other 15 people who assisted in delivering the service to the office. So, in total, there were remaining 19 prisoners. In the large-scale operation, the prisoners were killed en masse, and as you stated, the people who stayed, who stationed there did not receive information in advance. Were the pits sufficient for those en masse killed? Les fosses communes suffisaient-elles à recueillir l'ensemble des cadavres? The accused, Your Honour. During the large-scale operation like that, when they were transferred from Phnom Penh, then they would have to dig more pits. In principle, they did not have to smash them in one day, but they had to smash them all. Donc, en principe, il était difficile de les écraser toutes en une journée, mais il fallait écraser tous les prisonniers. Judge Yasakon, Question. For a large scale operation, how many days did it take to complete the operation? Il de jours pour l'opération. I cannot say in general, Je but the documents that we have in our hands, that is the document 159-1.10, the actual order was the 26th of October 77. Document, These 100 um, people were and had been cast, smashed until the second or the third day of next month. Il a fallu so that was from the 26 uh, les until the first, the second, so it took six suivant. days to smash Donc, total, these, these 100 people. Six jours yes, of course. So when, if the operation was done uh, Question. Donc, consecutively si like this, did the, were the prisoners transported cela, during the daytime? Les prisonniers the accused. La journée, if there was any transportation during the daytime, probably si only a few of them would be transported. La journée, this was done in order to preserve secrecy. The prisoners' objective was to preserve the most grand secret on these operations. Judge, yes, a count. Were additional forces Question. added to those existing forces Des for such large-scale large killing? Uh, Porter main forte à, euh, au the personnel accused, euh, sur yes, place it's possible, pour mener à bien de telles opérations. Some guards were selected to add to the Réponse, existing special oui, unit possible. forces. Certains gardes ont été, se sont ajoutés aux forces existantes pour compléter les effectifs. Judge yeah, Sakon. Question. Can you clarify whether you personally went to Jin Aik? And if so, how many times and when and with whom? Est-ce que vous êtes rendu personnellement à Jin Aik? Et si oui, combien de reprises? And was it during the killing of the prisoners? 
l'exécution de prisonniers, votre visite. Your honor. Réponse. Monsieur I le juge, went to jail je me suis rendu à Chiang une fois. With the instruction from my superior. Sur ordre de mon supérieur. The reason was that. I actually hesitated to go, but for his third instruction, I had to go. Mais à sa troisième injonction, j'ai dû me rendre so, sur place. During the entire operation of S21, I went Donc, to inspect Chiang Kai for one time. S21, je ne me suis rendu and à Chiang Kai qu'une fois. I personally saw the Phnom operation Phnom one time. J'ai personnellement été témoin de l'opération. This is my response. I only reprise. went for one time to Chiang Kai. You said that Question. you were instructed for, from, by your superior for you to go to Chiang Kai. What was the purpose? The accuser, let me elaborate further on this. Réponse. Permettez-moi d'étayer ma réponse sur ce point. It was just a game of boredom by Pol Pot. They were careful, we can't say that way. So, out of a blue, Paul Pot ordered Sun Sen to inspect S21, and I was ordered to prepare in advance. When he came, he did not uh, do anything. He wore a scarf on his head, and he stood at the gate at the entrance to S21. And when he stepped out of the vehicle, I and Comrade Ho was there to greet him. Est venu le recevoir. When he came out of the vehicle, he looked here and there, véhicule, and he said the brother Paul wanted to come by himself. Paul so that was the word seul. by Sunset. And then he said, okay, I have to go. Sunset. So he left. Dit, je dois so that was one et example euh, of the visit. Il, il est parti. In another instance, he occasion, urged me to go and watch the killing of the prisoner at S21, the killing of Suhna Elias Chuk and Jay Su. So that was the second incident. And for the third incident, he ordered the dead body of Li Pan to be photographed. He had been dead for three days, but he had to be exhumed and photographed. So in conclusion, either Pol Pot or Son Sen did not trust Nat or the, the division 703. That's why he ordered it to be done that way. Or probably they play a game of boredom, or maybe they were too overcautious, or they did not trust the the elements of the division 703 who were still working with me. This is based on my analysis of the situation at the time. Mon commentaire se base sur l'analyse de la situation telle qu'elle était à l'époque. The president, I noticed the presence of uh, the defense council. You can take the floor. Defense, qui souhaite intervenir, je vous en prie. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Mr. Wu, thank you, Mr. President. It's just concerning a translation issue from the French version. Peur que nous I perdu am afraid that we have chose en route. lost something in the Dans translation. In the French version, Pot it was said that Pol Pot came S21. to inspect S21, and I do not dit. believe that that's what you said. The President, thank you, the Defense Council. I would like to remind the interpreters to try your best to avoid the lost in meaning. Or probably it's a misunderstanding. And if the question is too fast and that could not be interpreted, please inform me so that I can remind the speaker to slow down. À l'orateur de ralentir. So that there is de manière sufficient à possibility to listen and to interpret appropriately. Que vous ayez suffisamment de possibilité uh, judge, yes, you can continue. 
ce qui est dit. Judge Yasakond, when you went to Chiangai, did you go Question. and inspect the pits? Chiang vous avez-vous inspecté les fosses? The accused, John. Réponse. On the matter that I went to Chiang Ai, I only went there once. Je ne me suis just for the sake of it. It's like Sun Sen when he came to S21, he Justement. came for a quick short Comme visit. Cela, uh, just for the sake of it. Même pour la visite, uh, à S21 de Sun Sen. Il, sa visite a été courte. Let me reiterate that I went to Chiang Ai je suis, only je for one time. Je ne suis qu'une seule fois à Chiang Ai. I did not go there and sit at the pit, nor pas allé, watch pas the pit. I only went there for a very communes. short time. Je, ma visite a été très courte. It was in the same way as Sun Sen came for a quick visit to S21. So I only had a quick trip to Chiang Ai. C'est de la même manière rendu à S21 à l'occasion d'une courte visite. Pour moi, c'était la même chose à Chiang Ai. Judge, yes, a con. Sun Sen Question. ordered you to Sun go Sen to Chiang Ai in order to inspect. Afin d'inspecter. And as you just said, Et comme vous l'avez déjà dit, you went there very quickly. Vous y êtes, euh, How could votre visite a été très courte. you explain this regarding the order cela? of your superior? s'agissant de l'ordre que vous aviez reçu de votre supérieur. The accused, John. Réponse. Monsieur le juge. Regarding the trip to Chiang Ai. Pour ce qui est de la visite à Chiang Ai. I went there for a quick, for a very short time. Ma visite a été très courte. I did not look at the pits. Je n'ai pas regardé les fosses communes. I did not go and looked into the house where the prisoners were kept before they would be taken and killed. Les prisonniers attendaient avant d'être emmenés pour être exécutés. Because the purpose was Car not to allow the 703 group to release any prisoner de libérer quelques prisonniers que ce soit therefore i thought par conséquent j'ai pensé there were 365 days in a year que dans une année, il y a 365 jours. If I went there 10 times a year, or it means 10 si days in a year, then they an, would still have the possibility to release any prisoner if they so wished. Que si uh, cela était souhaité, les prisonniers soient libérés. So if they wanted to release si any prisoner, even if I went there si 10 days per year, I would not be able to stop them. Dix jours par an, je n'aurais pas été en mesure d'arrêter cela. But I believed they worked and they strived to work because they wanted to live. So there was no need for me to go and inspect their work. Travailler, travailler parce qu'elle voulait vivre. Et j'ai pensé qu'il n'y avait, je, je n'avais pas besoin d'y aller.
So I only went there for a short time just to Je suis donc allé que très peu de temps pour une fois pour voir le travail. And uh, when I came back, the superior did not revenu, even question mon supérieur ne posé me question. about it. If he asked me, I would be Mais ready to demandé, tell him about uh, how people were shackles. Que, si les gens étaient shackles. Enchaînés. And uh, how the fence was installed surrounding the location. Qui le terrain. So these were the two cover stories I would prepare to Là, respond deux, to uh, my question if, dire if he would wish to ask me so. des questions. I learned that the I, I learned about the fence uh, surrounding the location, so when I je, je uh, left uh, the, the track, I could see the fence, pu voir cette en descendant du camion. like what I thought. And the shackles or the handcuffs uh, 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 were not seen because I did not... Uh, Uh, see them, but I asked about vu, this information from Comrade Hall, Or, who knew about them. Lui If he asked me whether I would like to see them, I would tell him that Et I si witnessed uh, si voir, hein. them uh, while they were walked by uh, the guards, but I only uh, turned my back to the details. In principle, I knew that uh, at that location, principe, one detainee was sent in at a time. After the first one was smashed, then the other one would be taken qu on, out. Qu on so one person at a time. À So these, these were the cover stories I would be prepared to Et respond voilà, donc, to my euh, boss or my superior's questions à à if he si, would wish to si ask me. Poser des questions. Question. Do you know how many Pits or graves at uh, Chengek. De ont été à Chengek. There were. The accused, uh, Your Honor, I don't know Je about pas, le juge. it. Jaja Zakhan, have you been told by the Question. people who stationed at that location qui about it? Sur place, uh, vous dit. The accused. Réponse. I think. When it comes to my authority, I could even question them regarding their matters, oui, but I did not even ask them point, anything about the pits. Uh, I did, did not need to ask uh, the people who stationed there. I just asked uh, Comrade Hall I would get the answers, but I never asked. So. Mais je jamais demandé. Judge Yasakon, I do not have further questions at the moment. Thank you, Mr. President. Merci. The President, uh, it is time to take an adjournment for lunch. So I would like to also know whether other judges would like to put further questions to the accused before lunch break. Avant la pause, Judge Lavergne, Judge Lavergne, you take the floor. No, it seems preferable to be able to take the lunch break now. However, it would be a good idea perhaps to seek clarification of the co-procureurs now from the cross-prosecutors regarding their request to be able to take the lunch break now. However, it would be a good idea perhaps to seek clarification of the co-procureurs regarding their request to be able to take the lunch break now. However, it would be a good idea perhaps to seek clarification of the co-procureurs regarding their request to be able to take the lunch break now. Si j'ai bien compris, vous souhaitez que ces photos soient considérées comme étant produites au débat. 
Et si j'ai bien compris toujours, vous avez l'intention d'en utiliser un certain nombre, soit au cours de l'interrogatoire de l'accusé, soit pour une présentation à la Chambre d'une façon un peu plus globale. J'ai entendu parler d'une présentation d'une durée de 25 minutes. Est-ce que c'est exact I think you have referred to a 25-minute presentation. Did I understand you correctly? Um, thank you, Your Honour. We're, we're in Your Honour's hands about uh, the length of time of the presentation, but um, the prosecution wanted to make sure that the three filings in relation to Rule 92, that relates to the two booklets, one booklet has been referred to in court already, that's the uh, physical layout of S21, and that booklet is uh, numbered E53.1 to E53.1. The photographs referred to in that booklet, the prosecution want to make sure that they, are, they have been put before the chamber properly in accordance with the direction given last Thursday. The second point is the booklet in relation to um, Chung Ek, the photographic booklet, and the photographs contained in there relating to the functioning of S21, that's the photographs showing the, the corpses and the torture equipment, the clothing and other evidence in support of the crimes. We wanted to make sure that that booklet is also um, before the, properly before the court, pursuant uh, to 87, 2 and 3. And that uh, filing is E63.1 to E63.158. And the third point the prosecution would like to make sure occurs is that the revised prisoner list and the supporting annexes, the 51 supporting annexes that describe the number of detainees at S21 um, and the type of detainees that were there, as well as the timing of the detainees' uh, arrest and executions is properly before the chamber. And that document is E68.1 to E68.51. Your Honours, the, the prosecution are aware that a few of those annexes have been referred to in the hearing, so would be subsequently on file, but um, a large number of them uh, are not, and we would like to make sure that they are. Similarly, with in relation to the photographs, some photographs have been referred to by the Mr. President, but there's another series that haven't, and we would like to be able to use that uh, with the witnesses as they come, obviously with, with the accused, but quite independently of that, um, they themselves are proof of uh, evidence, uh, proof of the crimes that have been discussed in any event, particularly in relation to knowledge of the accused, uh, reliability of witnesses um, and other matters. So regardless of whether we uh, wanted to put particular photos um, to the witnesses or annexes, we would like them to be um, taken into account um, in any event. And that was the main concern of the prosecution. As far as um, the public seeing uh, various annexes or, or photographs, um, we, we could do that now, or alternatively, um, that could be done uh, throughout the process. Um, so we're in, a, in your honour's hands in relation to that. Donc, euh, si je comprends bien, vous souhaitez savoir si les documents tels que vous venez de les indiquer, y compris leurs annexes, sont suffisamment résumés ou présentés à la Chambre pour pouvoir être considérés comme produits au débat au sens de la règle 87.2.3. Alors, je ne sais pas si... Um, that's correct, Your Honour. Um, oui, we, we feel that in, in relation to the guideline put forward by Nous Judge Cartwright uh, on Thursday, that um, documents now can be appropriately identified without being fully read out in court uh, and without being summarised in court but at least identified with the document number, the ERN numbers, and the title of the document. So, in a sense, our presentation would have been, uh, would be 
limited to that so that at least the public um, has an understanding of the evidence but as far as the, the parties are concerned um, well, so the parties have noticed as well I mean obviously um, a lot of this documentation is uh, photographs and, and, and by, by themselves uh, don't have a, a full description but it would just be a very brief presentation to meet the standard um, that Your Honours has set for admission under 87 to and 87.3. Donc, si j'ai bien compris ce matin, la seule objection qui avait été soulevée par la défense ne tenait pas à l'identification des documents, mais concernait le fait que certains documents pouvaient être contraires aux mesures de protection applicables à certains témoins. Donc, je ne pense pas qu'il y ait de difficultés concernant l'identification des documents que le procureur entend bien ce débat. Monsieur le juge, pour répondre à votre question, je dirais qu'a priori, il n'y a pas de difficulté. Maintenant, si la Chambre voulait bien nous laisser le temps de la pause du déjeuner pour vérifier ce dont il est question, peut-être que ce serait plus équitable. Merci. adjournment for lunch. So we will déjeuner. adjourn until 1.30 p.m. À 13h30. The security guards, Je please garde. take the accused to the waiting room and bring him in at 1.30.